What is going on, y'all? You ever realize that you might have a little too many sneakers and maybe you need something, you're going somewhere, you can't wear sneakers that's not appropriate, so you find yourself in need of something else? Well, I went ahead and filled this with, um, this is a pair of Sabagos from their Artisan collection. Start off with the box. It's uh, definitely a better quality box than usual. I would usually grab Sabago hit there. Sabago hit there with the little hole, the bowling ball pin hole. And then here's a side tag. Um, so you can see the model is the RF Schooner, the Ronnie Feig Schooner. This is a size 9, which is a half size down for me. And here we have the Ronnie Feig. This is, um,. This is obviously the uh, Sabago, Schooner, and Ronnie Fee collab. So, oh yeah, and the colorway is red and tough. What does that say? Oh yeah, made in the Dominican Republic. So, each shoe comes in its own dust bag. Like that. And it comes with regular tissue paper. And they were separated by a piece of cardboard, so that's nice. I don't want them to touch. Okay, so let's open up. And this is the shoe. So according to the Ronnie Feig blog, this was limited to, what was it, 200 pairs? They're still sitting, so obviously not very popular. Just a basic dress shoe. Boat shoe style. A little higher quality. Of course, this new buck. Is great it does move you can actually see that as a nice color change so really nice quality new buck and that new buck upper all red Sabago branding hit there and then the same material is on the insole is a uh, so a red leather lining and then there's your dull Ronnie Fee by Sabago branding on the other side of course it has the shoelace loop. This is there. And then the midsole is this tan or uh, top color. So this shoe is perfect. Like the, the red is nice and uh, vibrant. So it'll really pop. Or if you're wearing it with dress shoes, it'll work. Because this nice, um, this nice uh, tan color matches pretty well with dress shoes. It's not black ones. But obviously you would wear something more like a Kohan. Like a, like a wing tip. Or Lunar Grand, that would be something you'd wear more uh, black dress pants. But this will go well with um, for more more formal occasions. And just that rubbery star outsole with the new buck Ronnie Fee kit in the bottom, and the camp sides right there. And they each come in a dust bag. I'll just pull out the other pair. <laughs> Identical shoe. Oh, and they have the Ronnie Feig logo on the left panel. So that's these. Um, I actually got hit with, with the uh, Sabago jig. Um, I got these the day they came out because I didn't know how fast they were going to move with only 200 pairs or 300, 200, 200 pairs. Um, so I grabbed them on release day. They were actually 135 when they were advertised as 130. So I got hit with the with a nice jig. Um, they're 130 now, and I did not get refunded my five dollars. So whatever. Now I'll just peep the size tag real fast if you can maybe save it. So that's that. If you're wondering, put those to the side and then show you what I actually like a little bit more. So comes in a duffel bag. Which I thought was dope. These were $110. I caught these um, while I was at orientation on my phone during a presentation. So obviously shoes before before everything else, obviously before education. Um, the Sperry Top Cider and Extra Butter branding there. And inside the duffel bag, we have a box. And they came with some extras. Comes with a hard plastic cup. With the Sperry Top Cider branding. Real dope cup, actually. Real nice cup. It's plastic, but it's a hard plastic. Can't bend it or anything. 
it's um that's the lot number <laughs> so free cup and a little um boat shoe keychain which is actually dope it's like actually leather looks just like a navy boat shoe so that's real sick so these are the extras that came with the shoe and then the shoe itself comes in this Sperry Topsider box. Nice little boat on the front. Refrain sailing. So there's the size tag. Um, I was copying on my phone since I was in an orientation presentation. So I'm kind of programmed to automatically grab my size. But I wish I grabbed the 9. Because basically on all boat shoes you generally want a half size down. At least for me. So this is the shoe. Paper. I think this is the typical very paper. And the shoe comes with a shoe tree. And that thingy. And the dual branding on the insole, which is like a canvas material. Which is this almost identical to this. This feels like just like an overlapping lining that they stitch over top. This material here is a canvas. You see it is multicolored speckles. That thing's a dope touch. And the print itself, it's less watery. Like, it's harder to tell that it's actually water on the shoe. Like, I don't know. I thought this would be okay to wear year-round, but this is pretty aquatic. Um, like, it's... I like... I wish that the print was this... There has the sky print lining. That would have been dope. But the And then there's some quality issues, too. Like, here's, like, a new buck extra butter patch. But, see like right there, some quality problems. Like the stitching on the back is off. And then it has this rubberized outsole. This very branding on the bottom. Top sider logo there. What's the official colorway? There is none. Just says, um, authentic original 2i extra butter. Uh, I don't know, yeah. Same shoe has the other shoe is the identical stitching problem. Stitching there. So overall, it was a good shoe for the price I paid of one ten. Plus, all these extras are real dope. But um, it's not identical to the pictures. And this pair here is actually limited to two hundred. So this is kind of weird. But my two boat shoes are my most limited pairs of shoes, which I think is pretty funny. Um, because no one will even know. And these are actually still sitting on the site. So if you're looking for a quality shoe. These are actually real dope. If you need something to fit that, that dress shoe category. I mean, I don't know. I have your mom buy them for you, man. <laughs> she, she might think they're nice. So, uh, you can show, you can show her my videos. Maybe you can give her, uh, you can tell her, uh, to drop her Snapchat in the comment section. But let me know which one you guys like better. I personally prefer these a little bit more. The, these are more wearable, obviously. These are nicer quality. But then extra butter always goes all out in the packaging. So shouts to them. Oh, there's what it says. I think this is just a general, or authentic original uh, box. Quality control, but obviously they didn't see that shit. Whatever, man. These are dope collab, extra butter. Um, definitely worth the price for these. These, I got hit with the jig. Still probably worth the price because this is a very, very nice new buck. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and peace.